keeps getting more and more popular, so much so that grocery stores and chain restaurants and coffee shops are jumping on the keto craze. But anyone who's heard of it wants to know, is the diet safe? CBS Sports' Carly Barnett takes a closer look at the pros and cons of keto. Let me show you guys my keto-friendly foods. <laughs> Cooking now comes naturally to Monica Alvarez. Almost two years ago, she was severely overweight and needed to make a major change. I wouldn't even be able to run after my kids, and it was it was bad. She says the ketogenic diet, or keto, helped her get her life back. Before keto, I used to have diabetes, type 2 diabetes. I had high cholesterol and high triglycerides. And after I did keto, it disappeared. It's a high-fat, moderate protein, and extremely low-carb diet. Meats and eggs and cheese and leafy green vegetables. It works by burning fat in the body instead of carbs and sugar in a process called ketosis. Many out there, like Monica, say a higher-fat diet led to a lower weight. I've been on it now for 19 months, and I lost 150 pounds. So then I just fry it up in a little bit of butter just to brown both sides. She found ways to make her favorite foods with little to no carbs, even pancakes. Very good. <laughs> so is keto the answer to healthy living? Registered dietitian Ronnie Litz Julian says people should be wary of any diet that cuts out virtually an entire food group. It really does make changes short term to weight, to diabetes and blood sugar numbers, to cholesterol numbers, and that's primarily because there's weight loss not because of the makeup or the chemistry of the diet itself. She says taking out carbs means less calories, but also less nutrients. But we do need good complex carbohydrates, a whole grain, um, a brown rice, a quinoa. Nutritionally, she says there can be some serious health risks. High fat and protein could affect your heart, and cutting out most fruits and grains removes vitamins and fiber. If this is not something that you're able to continue with forever, that just means weight comes back and numbers come back up. And the more of that yo-yo up and down you do, by the way, the more dangerous it is to the heart and to our risks of, of other diseases. She says if you want to eat healthier, ditch dieting altogether. Focus on a balance of lean protein, healthy fat, and yes, even complex carbohydrates. She finds her clients feel less deprived. The goal is to choose food and live a healthy, long life in the way that is comfortable that you're able to sustain. Monica says she found that through keto and continues to be content giving up previous pantry staples. I finally feel like I found something that works and I can stick to it for the rest of my life. Carly Barnett, CBS4 News. Uh -huh.